Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to walk through an example of a good cover letter written by a student who does not have previous experience in the job for which they are applying. So in other words, they're applying for an audit role but have no prior audit experience. Often students come into our office thinking that they do not have the relevant experience for a particular job, but that usually just isn't the case. The beauty of internships is that there is an expected learning curve and training component involved, so of course you don't have to know everything. That being said, there are certain skills that are critical to most roles that your employer does not want to train you on. And those are primarily soft skills like teamwork, taking initiative, prioritizing responsibilities, being a critical thinker, and a good communicator. So those you need to come in the door with, but most likely, you have already been honing and using those skills in your previous jobs or on campus. So as you will see in this cover letter, uh, those soft skills are the ones that this student uh, will focus on. So as you may already know, the cover letter should answer three main questions. Why are you interested in this role? What skills and experiences will enable you to perform the role well? And why are you interested in this company specifically? So starting at the top again, um, for, so for the first two sentences of the paragraph of this paragraph, uh, so this red part here, whoops. So this demonstrates that the student has done research about the firm and interacted with EY professionals. This third sentence here then goes on to kind of serve as a roadmap for where the rest of the cover letter is going to go. Um, so this is pretty good. I think to make it even better, I would like to see this person connect themselves to their research about EY. For example, maybe they can mention about how they too are a people first person and give an example of that, or something about their own personal drive towards growth that parallels EY's drive towards growth. So that just completes kind of a fit uh, between EY and this person. Moving on to the second paragraph, this here is where the student talks more specifically about their skills and then provides evidence as to how these skills were acquired. Uh, he does also take it one step further and mentions how these skills are going to be applied in this role. So this demonstrates that he not only understands the role, but is already thinking about his performance in the role. So this is definitely appealing to a future employer. The third paragraph, the student sort of follows a similar format, um, but talking about their interpersonal skills instead. So this focuses on acquiring and honing their personal skills through their club experience. And then it goes on to talk about how they will help him be an excellent EY team member. Of course, also very important. The fourth paragraph is a pretty standard uh, wrap up not necessarily introducing any new details or support, but just kind of a summary and, and an overview of what has been stated um, already. So I hope this helps. Again, we'd love to see you at the GCMC. So just take a crack at trying your own cover letter draft, bring it in, and we'll go over it together. All right, see you guys soon.